Hey guys, so today I'm going to do a pour on this 8x10 canvas panel and I'm going to use my Artist Loft Ready Mixed Pouring Paints set that I purchased from Michaels the other day. Um, I'm really excited about using this set. So I wanted to do this because it's going to save me a little bit of time with not having to mix the paints and I just want to do just a regular type of pour so I'm not going to do anything super special which is why I figured I can use these to see how it comes out and yeah so oh god they make the packaging so hard to open so what is this teaching me today is that I should have already had it open so I am going to use the white And then I want to use <clears throat> whoops. I'm gonna use the white, this um old gold. We're going to use bright blue and aqua green so these are the four colors that i'm going to use um, on this particular panel i have the um edges taped off just so that i don't have to worry about how the paint falls on the sides it'll just be a nice clean edge and i'll also um probably finish this in resin but i'll see how i feel once it's done okay so i have this plastic cup that I'm going to put the colors in this wood is actually unfinished um, I don't have a gesso or anything that I could put in it so but it'll be it will be okay <laughs> I'm sure I'm shaking the paints now so I want to make sure that they are nice and mixed <clears throat> and then I'm also going to add a few silicone drops in between layers um, just to see how that turns out. So I'm not going to like mix a few drops in the paint or anything. I'm just going to do it in between layers of paint. So here is my cup. I'm going to start with the white. Um, actually, let me make sure all the bottles are open, huh? That will probably be super helpful so give me just a minute <laughs> this actually looks like a tempera that I have so I think that's funny Okay, so we're going to take the white first. Put three drops of silicone oil um, just right on top of the white. And we're gonna go in with the darker blue next. <clears throat> Okay, so I'm going to take some more oil. You guys, I have no idea what I'm doing. Um, so I'm just hoping that it turns into something really nice. I'm going to go ahead and take the green. I 
I'm going to go in with the white. And then some more silicone oil. And I'm going to take the gold now. Yes. <laughs> and then we're going to go into the blue, the darker blue. And then the aqua and I think we'll do a little more white so the bottom layers are the ones where I put some silicone drops in between layers and then these top layers I didn't add any silicone drops but I am going to go in with a little bit more blue because I want that to be like the main color I am not sure if this is enough paint but we're gonna, we're gonna see so first what I'm gonna do oops that's paint but what I'm gonna do first is take some of this white And I'm going to move it around just a little bit. Actually, let me take a brush. I'm going to actually brush it on. That way, all the paint has something to, like, follow. I'm going to take this silicone brush. You don't have to do a silicone brush. There's no reason that I'm actually using a silicone brush. Um, in particular, I'm just trying to get something on here. So I'm doing this in lieu of gesso. And since it's a pouring paint, I'm hoping that that means that it will, um, that everything will follow it really well. Also... Um, I don't know if you guys noticed, but I've been doing, like, trying to learn how to do Dutch pours because I love them and I love how a lot of the ones I've done have turned out. But I don't have, like, the air dryer with the cool burst, um, with the cool burst and the, um, the nozzle, like the slanted nozzle. So, I have been having the hardest time doing some of these pours because I've just been using, like, a straw in my breath. And sometimes I get lightheaded um, even using the straw. So, I'm so excited. I ordered the dryer, and that should be here in the next day or two. And it was, like, 12 bucks, and I figured... Um, I can wait for it. I'm not in a hurry. So, yeah. But let's go ahead and pour this paint. I'm hoping it's enough. So, I'm going to pour it just straight down. Since I'm here, I'm going to go ahead and wreck it. I'm so nervous, y'all, but look how pretty that is. I think it's pretty. Okay, but since I'm here, let's go ahead and wreck it. I'm going to go this way. And maybe like that. All right.
like just shy of enough paint. Okay, friends let me show you guys what it looks like I like it but I'm gonna, I'm gonna whoop. so here she is <clears throat> you can see a little shimmer This reminds me of something I did a long time ago that um, had purple in it to add a little extra dimension. And the purple um, actually came out so nice, but the whole thing ended up cracking. Um, so I never actually showed the piece. So, yeah. But let me bring, let me try some better lighting here. So this is what it looks like under a little better lighting. You can see some of that gold shimmering in there. Yeah, especially right there. Like you can see the gold. <laughs> and then here, that's so pretty. It just makes it sparkle. 